Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to some more Gold Rush the game. Uh, yes, it's been a while since I played the game, and I felt there was something lacking in the game. Well, right, off, right from the get-go, as you can see, there are some new changes to the game. There has been a lot that has been done to the game that has actually made things more interesting and more, I guess you call it more realistic. Something I was always wondering about and I was actually waiting for it and knew they were talking about doing it. I got my light on right now. Uh, one of the first things you'll see is this right here. This is actually the hotel. Uh, if you look at the top right, we don't go by just days anymore. There's actually seasons. So we're start of the, the spring, just after the, the permafrost. The permafrost is basically the end of the season. Uh, you mine as long as you want. Uh, you go through the spring, the summer, the autumn. And you get to the winter, the winter you start having issues, you can choose to pack everything up for the winter and end the season, you go down here to the hotel and end the season here. Uh, if you end the season, you have to make sure that you keep your, take care of your machines and all that stuff and we'll show that once, I'll show you that once we get there. So we do have to head off to town here. Uh, just so you know, I am playing hard mode right now. I was doing a hard mode playthrough earlier and I wanted a little bit of a challenge to it because you know, in the real world, you don't find what I was finding was two, a two-pound nugget. It's impossible. Oh, yeah, we have sails on, too. And in case you're wondering, the road is closed, so they actually force you to go through this little scenic back road here. Yeah, it's pretty interesting, but apparently there's, like, road conditions. Like, when the road's like this, it's a little more slipperier than it usually is. And here we are, beautiful Haynes. When I first came in here, I was, like, have, I was having trouble trying to figure out what was wrong with the graphics and I started coming to the conclusion I've never seen this game actually have snow before right the gas stations here uh, we have water towers uh, those will come in handy eventually they're super expensive to unlock but being in hard mode the first thing I have to do is I have to quick make a quick stop to the bank here and rob it because we need money oh yes lights you gotta turn those off because if you don't, you kill your battery. And as you can see, we have interchangeable parts now. We have the battery can be replaced, the fuel filter. Uh, wheels can be replaced on this too. I've destroyed a few wheels already and they're not fun. Uh, everything is more expensive and uh, there's less gold in the ground apparently. Uh, needless to say, there's no nuggets. We don't have that big nugget that you would find. Yes, we're going to take the old, old Arnold parcel because it's all we have right now. And I'm going to take out a full loan. Now, this is where it gets tricky because, you know, I'd like to pay less per day. But look at that, I'm already paying double over 12 months. So I think... Because I do have to pay rent. Um, I am going to be going by uh, grams, not ounces. One, I like to see bigger numbers. It makes it so much easier. And for some reason, this game does seem to be around uh, grams. And I'll show you that once we go to the blacksmith. So I'm going to go ahead and just take out 500. Uh, I could take it out on three days and just pray to God I can get it paid off. So we're going to be do running without a pump, unfortunately, because I have absolutely no money except for 500 bucks, and that's enough to get everything else. But we'll head down to the blacksmith first. Uh, they have done something to the blacksmith where now the magnetite in the game is actually being used to upgrade the blacksmith. Uh, the blacksmith will only smelt so much gold at a time. Uh, there's a certain amount of loss that you get. There's so much that it costs and how long it'll actually take. And so what you do is you collect the mine site in the trailer, you drop it off at the mine site area, and you can use it to get upgrades. Now this is actually very handy. This gold loss cuts your gold loss in this first level in half. You lose 10% and then you get this, you're only losing 5 So that's really handy. This uh, uh, basically gets you going from, originally we can do up to 18 ounces or 567 grams. You get this upgrade, it, it goes up to 72 ounces. And so on and so forth. And get down here, it gets really expensive. Time cuts it in half. Cost is about half. Uh, I'm going to focus on these two because, you know, we're going to need as much money as we can and so on and so forth but anyways off to the hardware store or the equipment store i should say now it's going to be a little grindy at first of course i'm not going to be doing anything else oh that reminds me uh, i don't know if you saw that flashing icon up in the top right there there is a story a story to it i have not actually looked at any of this story at all because i want to actually save it for the playthrough so let's go check this out so i know where this one is this one's down here 
I think I actually have to crouch down, yes. Alright, so I can key up and we go into our journal. There's actually a stories page here. So let's see if it actually shows where it is here. Blacksmith. Alright. Uh, excuse me a second. Alright. The Herald grab. Oh, okay. Dare health. Grab the hammer and come over here. Coming. Could you hurry? This. Uh, you know what? I'm going to read this. Uh, you can pause it. And then uh, we can continue on. All right. I don't actually have my contacts in, so I can't actually read it and have the microphone in the way. But it's basically talking about, uh, like, the, fr the first apprentice blacksmith in the last 10 years. Something about this blacksmith, blacksmith himself being crazy and all that stuff. Usual fun stuff. Something you expect up in the cold, cold north up here. Anyways, oh, that's loud. Let's back up. Ooh, that's close. You know, I'm so glad they haven't added body damage to this game yet. I would have totaled this truck so many times by now. But anyways, off we go. Uh, something else I've noticed, too. I don't know if this is, was like this before, but there seems to be fluctuating prices on the actual parts and equipment. Not like buckets or anything like that, but you get into things like mobile wash plant here. I've seen this go between 5000 and 6700 so it's really hard to say what the price of everything is, but we're not going to be using that right away. Uh, no, we got to we gonna be using that. We got to get down to this, get down to the nitty gritty here and buy one of those, buy one of those. Uh, no pump. Oh, that sucks. Just because everything's going to cost so much. And then I need a couple of buckets too. Uh, one, two. And then before we go check out... I'll turn my light on here because you don't seem to have any light in the back room here, but spare parts. Now in here is every single part that you can replace in the game. You've got different batteries, you got tires to the truck, the trailers, the uh, wave tables, you know, everything even like wash plant motors and stuff like that, but there's two different variations. As you can see, a mobile wash plant engine here is 1530. Bring it up and this is just your run-of-the-mill motor. You can get up uh, a reinforced version for t for considerably more. So, your six thousand dollar wash plant now becomes an eighteen thousand dollar wash plant because you put this on, but it's guaranteed not to break. Uh, same with the uh, spray jets, as you can see, about a ten degree difference. Oh, hang on, there's a spider in front of my screen here. This house is bad for spiders, and so on and so forth. Yes, and. Um, Needless to say, this is what the whole permafrost thing is. If you don't take care of the equipment, either remove these parts and put them into storage, or put the equipment into storage, you'll have to replace everything. And I had done a playthrough, and I actually just oh yeah, uh, no, we don't need the pump right now. Uh, I decided while well, it was end of season, it was second day of winter. I had frozen up. It was minus seven, snow on the ground. I wasn't running any dirt, so I could have put everything in. But I knew I was going to be starting the series, so I thought. Well, let's see what happens when I end the series, in this season. So I ended this season, and day one I had 80 malfunctions. Uh, I assessed the damage. It had to have been between thirty and forty thousand dollars worth of parts. The duplex jugs. I had two duplex jugs set up in the main, the tier three wash, tier three wash plant, and both pumps and electric motor had to be replaced. So the twenty-five thousand dollar duplex jig needed. Ten thousand dollars for the parts, and I had two of them. The trommel was done. The, the shaker wasn't too bad, but the excavator, wow, tracks, cogs, hydraulic hoses, uh, fuel tank. The hose broke off the fuel tank. I lost two thirds of my fuel. Fun stuff. And then you have these things here too, which are transport crates, which are handy. Uh, I don't trust them. With empty buckets, they're okay, but you start putting pay dirt in there, and the buckets start, like, ghosting through and start doing funny things. But these will come in handy when we're moving a bunch of stuff around. Uh, when you pick the actual crate up, it sort of stops the physics, like how when you start moving the truck with the stuff in the back. Anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's order this up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah never mind, I'll have to... I'll have to check that next time. Anyways, off to the parcel. Oh, gotta load this up first. Now what I do, what I've been doing, because it makes it so much easier, is I put the mats in here first. 
Uh, now you'll notice on the the hog, uh, hog pants loose box, there's actually extra mat slots. And what that is is they've reworked the workers in the game. The workers now no longer actual, no longer produce gold for you. They're more or less rentable upgrades for your your equipment. So if you. For instance, I actually had a, a worker that was uh, auto swapping buckets on the mobile wash plant. That's the the green one there for six and a half grand. And at a level one, it allowed me to add a second bucket onto the side of the wash plant. So it was basically swapping that bucket out. And as the the worker gained exp went up in experience, then it was able to put more buckets on there. So it kind of works. It does save you time from having to get out and change the buckets. It's not that beneficial just for swapping buckets but then you get them up to a level two and then your malfunction rates go down and then i think after a while i think it's like efficiencies and stuff like that start to go up so that's definitely quite interesting and at the same time too you can actually get a mechanic which will i'm sorry i always get a lot stuck in there uh get a mechanic which will i think reduces malfunction rates by like 45 percent at a level one they're expensive, but I've had my share of malfunctions. There's nothing like, you know what I mean? I've had my wash plant break down on me twice in one day. I've had issues, other uh, issues that we'll probably be able to see as soon as we get to the claim here. Uh, but yeah, we have, you have to worry about water. That's why we have the water towers. Oop. Let's not break a tire right away. All right, we're okay. Oh, let's turn that differential on. Oops, yeah, I can't drive icy roads. Gotta pay attention. Now there was a story around here too. I can't remember where this one was. I think it was actually back here. I just want to go pick them all up. There's actually an achievement for it. Not sure exactly what happens, but I think this one was over here. They've also seemed to have unlocked a lot of the maps, so I wouldn't mind at some point in time do a little bit of exploring. Yeah, I thought it was over here. Must be on the other side. But off we go. We're going to go make some gold at 10 a.m. See if I can get two buckets through. Uh, I'm gonna also going to try to avoid loans as much as possible. Uh, needless to say, my first playthrough of the hard mode, I have done, done a playthrough already. And I was second day of summer, which is technically second week of summer. And I had no water. I was 2,000 in the negative. I owed the bank 28000 28, plus I had to give the, the landlord money, and I was getting about 100, 100 grams a, a day, and that was it. Anyway, here we are, and yes, everything is covered with somewhat snow right now, but this will melt in a day or two, which isn't bad. Uh, there's a few other things, like there's a water tower here we can go build on, on site. Uh, they have a great supply, a great feed. But $150,000 to repair. Yeah. We might not be doing that this season, but maybe season next season we'll probably be able to do that. We'll see how things go. Uh, let's see how the water is doing. Are we frozen? Yes, we are. No. No, we're good. Yeah, you do have to watch out. That creek has frozen. It will dry up in the, in the winter and create you a lot of headache when you try to make money just like this tailgate. Anyways, I'm going to get myself set up and do a little bit of digging, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm just about to do some more digging here. There's actually another part of the story. We'll go check this one out in a second, and then we'll uh, show you a new thing that we have. So where is this one? Now, it will flash faster the closer you are to it. I think it might actually be in the tent. Nope. Where'd you go? You're around here somewhere. No, it's the other way. It's the other way. Oh, it's probably over here. Nope, not over there. Oh, I can't go that way. Somewhere around here. Let's find it. Really? Am I missing it somewhere? I'll find it. I swear I will. Oh, there it is. Yes. 
All right, let's check the old journal here. Okay, this is gonna be old Arnold Parcel. I've just arrived. The neighborhood seems quiet and peaceful. I'm headed out to the old Arnold Parcel to start my gold mining journey, gold miner journey. I hope we'll get well. I've never realized how hard that job can be. Using machinery is the easy part, but all this clean and maintenance is driving me crazy. It's the digging that drives me crazy with that. And yes, we do have a whole selection of tools. Now we have a shovel, a small shovel, cordless screwdriver, screwdriver, crowbar, wrench, and a part analyzer. Uh, believe it or not, one of the, the main tools I seem to use the most, especially on the excavator, is, <laughs> is the crowbar. But anyways, uh, yes, I gotta go and uh, do this for a few minutes. I'm gonna get a couple of buckets of gold, and then we'll head back to town and take care of our loan and see where we're at. Okay, I'm just getting ready to do the last run here. I've already got one bucket, one run through the hog pan done already, and I'm just about to do my last couple of buck, uh, couple of shovels here. Uh, one of the things I keep asking myself is, why don't it allow us to use a bigger shovel? Why can't we use the bucket to fill the hog pan? Why do we got to use this little thing? Well, I guess it could be worse. Could have to use it. this one. Oh, that one there. But it works for now. But this should be it. A few more shovels. Uh, one other thing about the, the gold nugget mode that they have now. Uh, before it used to be that you'd dig around here and then eventually you'd randomly find the, the big one, the big $10,000 nugget that would allow you to get a, a tier tier 2 up in which which the, the mobile wash pile with the excavator. But now they change it so you start randomly finding these nuggets and the nuggets start getting bigger and bigger as you go. So the first nugget you'll find end up being like a 46 gram or something or like a ounce and a half sort of deal. And then they start getting bigger but they start getting spread out and I was actually doing a play on a uh, playthrough on just a normal mode and the last nugget I found was 919 grams I think at that point at two pounds you don't call it a nugget anymore do we still have any more dirt in there well let's fill her up come on one more shovel th full ought to do it get a full clean out here I've been keeping an eye on the time too because uh, hasn't been too bad but we are like early early spring so when it gets late it gets dark uh, when it gets late it gets cold and when it gets cold then the water freezes at the same time too uh, light becomes an issue and at the same well, another one too is I want to get this all cleaned up and processed so I can a get to the bank where that that loan payment comes out and also have money or gold to take care of the landlord so this is the last one here now, as far as equipment that we're going to buy next, I really would like to get the magnetite separator going first thing. Uh, we're actually going to go clean this up in here. I did this before. It's like the gold cleaning tent. You might as well, right? We got the whole basin in here. And then uh, you see these shelves here. These are where your gold, your gold tallies from the previous season go on, which I thought was pretty interesting. I finished my, when I did that, when I finished that season, that, I let everything go to permafrost, causing like thirty thousand dollars in damage to all my machines. I had uh, my tally was twenty one thousand nine hundred, or yeah, it was like twenty one thousand nine hundred grams, which I think is somewhere around eight hundred ounces. I'm not gonna go right into the number on that because whatever. Now I want to see if this thing's the right the right way. Close enough. Last time I was set that up, I was actually going through the tent wall. So, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and pan this up, and I'll bring you back with the total. All right. Well, I'm down to the last pan of the second bucket, and yeah, as you can see, the totals are terrible. Definitely randomized. Uh, on the other hard mode I was going through it in the same spot in the hog pan area I was getting about 80 grams to a bucket now I'm getting about 45 first one I had 45 just under 46 grams which is about an ounce and a half and here I got about 80 grams now 
this part right here is why I also try to get the wave table as early as possible. Yes, it costs five, five and a half grand or four and a half grand plus you need the generator for it. But I've been panning about two hours in game right now. And I got 83 grams. Which isn't a whole lot. So anyways, let's, let's go sell it. The uh, temperature hasn't dropped yet, so that's pretty good. But I want to get, like I said, I want to get that loan paid off as soon as possible. That's, like, the interest is terrible. It seems to be fluctuating. Like, for some, sometimes I go take a loan out, and it'll be 94% interest. And then other times it'll be 45 So I'm wondering if it's the time of day that you take the loan out or or what. I have figured out that the amount of money that the bank will loan you depends on how much gold you actually sell to the bank. I thought I had to do with you know, buying loans and paying them off. Oh, it's snowing, which means we're gonna be fr we're gonna be frozen when we get back. Uh, that's fun. Well, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's let's go see what we got now. I got 83 grams. The Landlord's taking 35%, so well, I'm losing about 30 grams of gold, so I got about 50 grams, about 2 grand to spend. I can pay off the bank loan and probably upgrade to the pump. Possibly. Fuel's going to be more expensive, too. Uh, fuel, basically, all prices are about, 30, about a third more. I can actually show you this here as soon as I roll up front here we'll just stop in here and we'll check out the prices just curious let's see what I gotta save up for especially when we start getting to this thing here uh, I'm not buying it this time that's actually not too bad what's the rental 700 a day so normally I try to buy this thing as soon as I can like I don't rent I just usually try to end up buying it and uh, buying the the wash pot, but that is a lot of money, especially if you're taking out a loan on it. So I might actually try wrenching it this time, but that's still a ways away. You got to get the magnetite separator and the wash table, and that's still seven grand there. And got to keep the landlord happy and uh, the fuel tank happy because gas is four bucks a liter right now. Oh, yeah, he's over here. All right, let's see what we have. Oh. Turn those lights off. And I, I'm hearing something in the background. It's like a, a flood or something. 40 grams, because that's all the money I have. Yes. All right, so we'll smelt that and carry on. But yeah, as you can see, like, I've, I've worked it out for uh, for a bucket through the, the mobile wash pan of, let's say, 200 grams of gold. You get about two to three thousand grams of magnetite which really comes in handy here you can sell it of course at 23 cents a gram but it's not worth it it's not worth it getting these upgrades is more because getting down to here you're basically like one percent loss i think and then there's achievements for smelting down a 100 ounce bar of gold uh, also too you can keep an eye on your time here it tells you how long you got and so on and so forth so I'm going to smelt this up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, there we go. So we have 40 grams, which is, what was it, 1.2 ounces, which is fine. It keeps the bank happy, and that keeps me happy because I got gas money, and I still have, still have the keys for my truck, apparently, <laughs> but I still have 43 grams of gold, which means the landlord's going to take their share out of that and not out of my money. And that's what I want. And my goal is to avoid the bank as much as possible. Just because the obscene interest rates that they can do. Like like I said, I was I basically went bankrupt because I owed the bank twenty eight grand on an excavator with seventeen hundred dollar a day payments plus giving the landlord like seventeen hundred dollars a day, that was like eighty to a hundred grams of gold I had to pay them and I couldn't couldn't afford it. And, uh, yeah, you can keep check on the stock one day, five day, ten day, one year. Yada, yada, yada. Wow, it was really low there. 
But anyways, we go ahead. Fifteen hundred bucks. We sell that. Go and pay our loan off, which is only seven twenty-five. Good. Which leaves us eight hundred in the bank. And see, right now the total interest is only forty-five percent. But I've seen that like ninety-eight before, and that was at a three-month term. But as you can see, you go up higher, and look at that for seven fifty. You're paying almost two grand at the end. But seventy-seven dollar a month payments, it's not bad. But at this point in time, it's not needed. It's not worth it. Just because of the fact that we need to sell more gold before we can start getting more stuff up. Uh, there are is another parcel added, which is the the Nighthawk Valley. This is one that wasn't actually unlocked before. Very high amount of gold. I have no idea how much that's going to be, but from what I've seen on Old Arnold, like Old Arnold, uh, even with the drilling, I was getting up to 10,000, maximum 10,000 grams per square in the gold map, which right up here, we can go ahead and do drills on the claim. We can either buy a drill machine and do the drills or do random drills, 20 of them for 15,000, which in my opinion is worth it because you might find a good pocket like four areas here where the gold's concentrated right at the surface you get out there with the excavator and the mobile wash plant for a couple of hours and you made yourself a couple of grand right but anyways uh it's a good place to call it here uh but anyways uh thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i will see you in the next one later <laughs>